Well, Joyce, if you're sitting here in the stands watching the games, you really can't miss the sign. It's posted right here along the fence, right by home plate. And these signs, they're scattered all over this field, but they are nothing new, but they've gotten a lot of attention recently from as far away as Spain. It's a great opportunity for kids to come out here, learn the game of baseball. I'll get him. But as I always tell our families and players, it's, it's really not about baseball. It's learning about life through this great game. But sometimes rowdy parents can get in the way of all of that. We haven't had anything in terms of physical stuff. No police called for any of that sort of stuff. But still, Glendale Little League President John Dietrich wanted to put America's pastime into perspective for parents who were getting fired up during their kids' baseball games. So the league posted signs like these. These are children. This is a game. Umpires are human. And your, your son or daughter is not being scouted by the Brewers today. The signs went up several years ago, but captured international attention after a new parent noticed it. Saw the sign, took a picture of it, um, and posted it to, uh, uh, to Reddit, uh, where he's a common poster, and, and it just took off from there. The signs also resonating with parents like Chad Roulette, whose son has played here for several years. I'm kind of surprised it's gone viral. It's, uh, it's just a good idea uh, to remind parents and players, everybody involved, that you know, no one's really going pro here. It's about values. They are just playing, you know, for the fun of it and to, you know, to get the socialization part of it. So I agree with it. And the Positive Coaches Alliances emphasizes youth sports and character development. They say signs like these are an important reminder for perspective. Now, Joyce, the president of the Little League out here is also a news reporter, and his story got picked up by USA Today. Reporting live here in Glendale, I'm Sheldon Dutez, WISN 12 News. Okay.